Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are shopping the stash, finding some things that I love or haven't used in a while and just having some fun. Plus we're going out tonight for Luke's birthday and I just wanted to get a little bit dressed up, a little more smoky eyed glam, but we go through the collection, we pick some things, now, before we jump into it, if you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell for notifications new videos if you like this video. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up. But if you want to see how I got this look using the products I already have in my collection, just keep watching. Okay, so primers, where we usually start. I'm looking at some of these. I just used the Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer. It is a little bit warmer out right now, so I don't know that I want to use this. I've been using the Stila, the Cali Ray, and the Complex Culture nonstop. KBD, um, I've used it a couple times and I like it so far. I think, ooh, I like this one, which is from Skin Ink. And then I also like this one from Liss, which is the Secure Skin. I think I'm going to use this one along with my Tarte Timeless because I haven't used it lately. On to foundations and concealers. Just picked this one up. Really like it. I just received this in a subscription box and I've been enjoying it a lot. Let's see. Infallible from L'Oreal. This is tried and true. Or even the CoverGirl Outlast. I do really like my NARS. Let's see. Ooh. I got this during like the holidays and I've used it a lot at that time. I'm gonna pick this one and use it today. And then for concealer, let's see. I just got a new shade of Lawless Conceal the Deal. And then the Dior, really like that one. I haven't used Too Faced in a while. And ColourPop. Let's see, Fenty. Kaja, ooh, Too Faced Ethereal. Actually, I think I'm gonna do Too Faced Born This Way. Setting powders. Huda Beauty, <laughs> this one I poured too much into the cap, and so I stored it upside down until I use it next time. Let's see, Urban Decay, Laura Mercier, MC Chic, KVD, One Size. Actually, I haven't used NARS in a while. This one is actually really good. The, what is it, Translucent Crystal. Really like this one. On to bronzer and contour. I'm gonna use something that I have been using nonstop and that is the Milk Sculpt Stick. Someone clarified they only came out with the mini size because there were complaints about the larger size not being able to use it, but I have been going through this and I absolutely love it. Now for bronzer, um, we have Marc Jacobs. This is fantastic. We have ColourPop, let's see, Too Faced. Ooh, the Liss bronzer I really like. Sigma. Actually, I haven't used Sigma in a while. We'll use this one today. Blush drawer is a little more organized, except I just got this blush palette, and it doesn't really have a spot in here, so it just kind of sits on top. I really like it, though. This one from Eloise. I just used it in my, like, new makeup. Really like the shades in here, but I'm thinking for blush today. Let's see. Milani. Oh, this one is the, what is it, Very Amore? I really like this one. Let's see what else. Tinkerbell. Oh, this one's kind of like a burnt peachy. I think I'm going to use this one today. It's in the shade Drop of a Hat. All right, so highlighter. There are some good ones in here. The Liquid Fenty Kilowatt highlighter. The Cali Ray, this one. If you didn't see my Sephora haul, this highlighter is phenomenal. I, it's one of my go-tos. It's absolutely stunning. There is another shade that I want to pick up. Um, let's see though. Do I want to go with something that I've been using or we do have this drawer. Oh, let's see. I know in here I have one of my Anastasia Beverly Hills ones that that's not it. Where did it go? It's right. See, this is why I need to reorganize it. The Nicole Guerrero, this one, phenomenal. I'm gonna use this one today. Okay, and then into the bookshelf. And of course, let's see, what do I want to use? This is just the first one. And I think I kind of have an idea of what I want to use and it's, 
Is it in here? Oh no, it's not. It's actually right over here is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sultry because, don't mind my flat iron. Um, <laughs> this palette is absolutely stunning. I do like it for like brown smoky eyes. And then I think I'm gonna use my Marc Jacobs sequins. Okay, and then we're into the little drawer next to me. I think I wanna use my sequins. Which one is it? It's not any of those. I think it's one of the gold caps. Nope. So this one in Topaz Flash. And then the other one, this one is in Flashlight. I have an idea, I've used it before. I think that's the way forward. Okay, for mascaras. Um, this is way more than any person needs open at any time. Let's see, this one is the Pat McGrath Labs. I absolutely love this one, but I've been using it so much. The Rowan, really like this one. This is the Cake Mascara. Mile High is really good. The Maybelline La Total Temptation. What's this? Number seven lash impact. Pure fully charged. Oh, I got this one in a subscription box. You almost loot to the sun. Let's do this one. Okay, I think I want to do red lips for tonight, which means liquid lipstick. But I'm looking in here. I have some pretty reds. Ooh, this one's from Kylie. This one's pretty. But do I want like true red or do I want like a pinky red? Let's see. Oh, I know which one I want and it's not even up there or down there. It's right here. It's this one from Urban Decay. This one is so good in raw footage, which means I also need a lip liner and red ones are over here. This one is more like a burgundy red. So let's see. This one's realer. I don't know what I used with it last time. I think this one. I'll use this. Okay, you guys. So I was kind of picking my makeup pretty quickly. I have already been thinking about how I wanted to do my makeup because I can talk about it right now because Luke's not home. And sometimes he can hear me when I'm filming and the conversations I have. So I'm like, shh. But he thinks we're just doing a date night. And we are. But he thinks it's just him and I going out to dinner for his birthday, which was last night. And he had to stand 24-hour duty. So he was on the ship. And I've actually been planning for the last month and a half, two months. I've been inviting all of his friends to go out to dinner. And I've ordered a cake for him and he has no idea. I had already given him his present. Um, he kept talking about wanting an Xbox Series X. I don't do video games. I don't even know the cool consoles. Like I had an Xbox Series One when they first came out. What, what, what was it? Grand Theft Auto was like the game or there was another like racing game that everyone was into. That was my video games growing up. Well, I say that. I also had a Nintendo. Like the original Nintendo. Anyways, we'll start knocking this out because we have dinner in a little bit and we should be getting on the road. Anyways, so I like to do a brown smoky eye and then I just, a cute little top with some like nice details. I'm gonna do jeans and some black booties. Um, just simple, but he has no idea as far as I know. I think his friends have kept it a secret and his sister. So going into the Sultry palette, we're gonna go into the shade Twig. This is just gonna go into the crease and the outer V to give that tan smoky eye. This palette, I love so much. I go into it all the time. Um, I actually keep it behind me, but it's just that good of a palette, especially when you're trying to do a smoky eye. Whether you want like black smoky eye or brown smoky eye, like this is the palette I use. Um, so I was also, one of my friends is picking up the cake for him and so he has no idea. I'm just gonna have myself purse. He doesn't know I've got candles in my purse. Um, I have a cake topper, which I got him a Star Wars themed cake. And uh, <laughs> I picked up this like, it looks like a bobblehead, but it is a Darth Vader with a lightsaber. And the bakery I used was a local one that my friend recommended. So she's picking up the cake 
and they're gonna meet us at the restaurant. So he has no idea that there's cake, that there's, I think there's like eight of us going for dinner. But like last year, it was our first year together where I celebrated his birthday and it was just him and I. Cause I didn't really know all of his friends. We had started dating in the end of November. So we'd only been together for like four months. And um, I just wanted to keep it simple. Something, you know, a little romantic. Tonight we're gonna go and just a small group of people. I played a game with him one night out by the fire because he set up the backyard. And um, I did a game of either or. All right, before I talk about it, I'm gonna use this shade Dystopian, which is the dark brown in here. I'm just gonna smoke up right through here and the crease before I use the Marc Jacobs sequins. So trying to figure out and surprise him. I know a little bit about his behaviors and like what he wants, but just a fun game to get some specifics. So I did the first one, which was beer, wine, bourbon, or cocktails. Cause we do a lot of like bourbon and like we'll do makeshift drinks at home, but I prefer wine. He likes beer, prefers bourbon, and sometimes we'll make a cocktail. So of course he picks bourbon. Um, so I was looking for a restaurant that did bourbon drinks or would have a good menu that goes with that. And I knew that one was gonna be a gimme. So then I start asking some other things like sit down dinner, uh, sit down dinner, gathering, or a party. He doesn't like big groups of things like going out into crowds. They just, he doesn't mix well with them unless he knows the people. And I know our close group of friends. So that narrowed it down to a sit down dinner. Cause I also asked him if he wanted snacks, charcuterie board or sit down meal. And he said, um, depending on the group size, he told me the snacks and stuff. But then um, the hard one, <laughs> I asked him, Star Wars or Star Wars, Star Wars or Marvel, and he couldn't choose. And I knew that was gonna happen. He loves Star Wars, but he loves Marvel. And I was just kind of like, okay, Darth Vader or Yoda. And he's like, well, my name is Luke, and he's my father, so Darth Vader. It didn't matter. I was just trying to get some ideas and details to plan his birthday, um, plan whatever we were gonna do, and then of course like figuring out his schedule and my schedule and all the things in between. All right, so it's starting to darken up a little bit and I can also add it more if I want it a little bit more smoky. But I didn't want to tell him that I was trying to plan something. So I just, hey, let's play a game while we're sitting outside by the fire. I was enjoying a glass of wine. He had turned some music on because he put a TV on the outside of my house. Um, I'm not mad because it can be covered up, but at the same time, like I have a TV inside. Anyways, <laughs> so the Marc Jacobs sequins. These I really like. I'm really bummed that Marc Jacobs is no longer a brand. I really miss them and the things that I do still have in my collection, I love. They're just phenomenal. So this one is in the shade Topaz Flash. It is a brown shade, but it looks like it has like a purpley underhue with a gold shift. I really like it. That's what it looks like. Oh, so beautiful and shimmery. And I put it on the wrong finger. I meant to do it on my middle finger so I could, never mind. I'm trying to rush because I want to be ready and like not late. But I also am like, do I get there exactly on time for the reservation? Or do I get there a little bit later so they have time to sit down and we end up at our table? I don't know. I mean, he'd be surprised if we walk in and they're just standing in the doorway too, right? Look how beautiful that shade is. Now I'm gonna go into the shade Flashlight, which is an icy white. This one I'm just gonna put on my pointer finger because apparently I messed up what finger I was gonna use. Ooh, look how icy those two shades. They do also pick up well on a brush, so I'll kind of finesse it, but you just get that like icy white shimmer and it's gonna melt into the brown. So I just have my dry brush. Picks up really nicely was for the inner corner area. But I have been trying so hard to keep this a secret and not ruin it. He almost ruined it. Um, there was a scheduling conflict and I didn't know because I was trying to surprise him. I was asking him the date and I didn't realize that 
one of his friends had something going on, but it wasn't at the time that I started planning, it wasn't in my calendar. And we have a shared calendar, which does make it nice if things are in there. Um, but otherwise, can make a mess when you're trying to plan. We did see him earlier because um, he had his retirement. We might end up meeting up with them after dinner, but we won't be there when it starts. All right, so I've got the icy white into the brown and the gold. I'm gonna go ahead and do this eye. I'll be back for the rest of the face products. Okay, for primer, the List Secure Skin Gripping Serum Primer. I really like this along with the Tarte Timeless Smoothing. This is one of my go-tos, especially for my pores and my lines right through here. It is very liquidy. but it just makes my foundation and face products go on so nicely. And Luke just got home, so I can't really talk about what we're doing tonight. And then I just take the Tarte Timeless right in the areas that have my bigger pores, just to smooth it out a little bit. No skin is perfect, but if I can, if I can try and smooth it out a little bit, then I will. And then into the Moira Complete Wear Foundation, I have shade 400 Natural Beige. After I bought this, I was using it like every other day. Have you tried Moira? I just tried them for the first time around December, January timeframe, and I was quite impressed with their products. They do have some new things that just released that I wanna pick up. I just haven't had a chance. It evens everything out so nicely. And it just, it covers up all the redness. There's just so much redness in my skin. <laughs> I was watching a movie with grandma earlier when I got home. Last night I was trying to fall asleep. I couldn't fall asleep, I had to turn the movie off. I was watching Ever After with Drew Barrymore and Angelica Houston, I think that's who it is. I, I don't know why I love that movie so much. It was one of my favorite movies as a teenager. Just fairy tale ending and it, it's cute. Um, but we were watching that before I came up to get ready for dinner and everything with Luke. I still look at like her makeup and just the face mask with all glitter. It'd be really pretty. I know it's a little early to start thinking about like Halloween, but I, I might do something like that for Halloween this year. All right, and then the NARS Crystal Light Reflecting Setting Powder. I love this. It has a weird scent. It's not my favorite. Oh shoot, before I powder. We have the Milk Makeup Sculpt Stick. I have mine in the shade Stout. And just, I go a little bit higher than like, cause I can see the natural contour. Just go a little bit higher from my ear. One swipe, that's really all I need. And then I take my uh, angled contour brush. I could not remember what this is. So I just start pushing it up to blur out the lines on top and then back and forth, swishy, swishy. And then into my hairline. I have been wearing this nonstop to work. And then I do bronzer on top. I never got into the contour sticks when Milk had like the big chunky ones, but I am loving it so far. Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I have mine in the shade Pearl. And then powder from NARS. I think that should be enough. I don't know why I'm trying to go in heavy. Handy dandy sponge. I really hope this isn't too pale for today. Not too bad. Uh, The good thing is you can use your foundation brush to fix because I went too heavy on this side. So grab your foundation brush and just, where you went too light, it ain't perfect, but it's better. Smoothing out the lines that concealer falls into. Even though it's light, I'm still gonna use blush and bronzer too, so we'll, fe we'll fix it. The good thing is I had my brows done yesterday. So I won't have to go too heavy in with a pencil. I might have to smooth out the lines a little bit from where I got foundation and eyeshadow primer. I would plan a surprise for someone and like you're excited because they don't know. It ain't perfect, but the final product, hopefully I pull it off. Now back into the sultry palette because we got to do the under eye and the outer corner, bring everything together. So I'm going to go into the shade twig, just the light brown shade. And then into dystopian, just in the outer corner. No, I just realized we didn't pick a lip product. You know what? I kind of want to do a red lip with this. 
Okay, now for bronzer, the Sigma Matte Bronzer in Dark. That is what it looks like. And I wanna say this isn't actually like super dark. I wanna say it's pretty like medium. You know what I realized? I forgot to do my contour. I keep doing that because I'm so used to just using my bronzer contour as everything. I forget that my contour needs to go under my jawline because it's a cool tone shadow. Anyone else forget to do that? Or is it just me? And blush, we picked out the drop of a hat from ColourPop. This kind of has like a sheen to it. Oh, look at that. I love their super shock cheeks. Oh, this shade is pretty. Now, for highlighter, I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero Highlighter Palette. I absolutely love this palette. When I had it to begin with, I was just using it nonstop. I think for my inner corner, I'm gonna use this shade Forever Young. It's just like a icy white, cool tone kind of, which I think for this eyeshadow look is what I need. Now for the cheeks, I think I'm gonna go a little more like golden toned. So I'm gonna go into the shade right here, Glow Getter, which is kind of like a champagne gold. Let's see how it looks. Ooh, that is beautiful. If you have this, is it one of your favorites? That might've been a little heavy. Setting spray will tone it down, I think. You just can't deny how nice Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighters are. And this palette is one of my faves. I think I need to keep it on my table because I need to use it some more. Mm, you guys, I went in heavy on this side. Now for brows, and I don't need too much for the brows. I think I'm just gonna like fill in the bottoms where like my eyeshadow primer and foundation. I'm gonna use the Too Faced Super Fine Brow Detailer in dark brown. I really like this. It has like a angled tip on it. I showed this the last time I did it, how I like line up just to get where I, I should start my brows. And I, I didn't realize that like, everyone does it differently obviously, but I got a lot of like, oh shoot, I should have been doing that. I didn't realize. So I just, I line it up on the edge of my nose to the bottom where it touches and then go up. That was a little bit harder than of a line that I need but it at least gives me my starter point. I don't think I need too much. There's a couple areas that the dye started to come off, which is fine. It's supposed to, um, but the girl who does my brows, I can get this to last for a couple days, even washing my face with makeup cleanser and face wash. And I love it because I don't have to do a lot of work. So the girl that I go to had been working at the Benefit Brow Bar, but she decided to go back to school and went independent for a little while. And I love how she does my brows. So of course I got to support. <laughs> I'm gonna go do this off camera. Uh, that's the start of it. I don't have a lot to fill in, but then I also do have to do eyeliner, mascara, and I'll be back for lips. Okay, so some things I used before we do lips. The Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. This just stays behind me. It's one of my go-tos for eyeliner, which I didn't do shot my stash on because I only have a couple. This is the KVD Cake Pencil, which is what I put in my waterline. And then the ColourPop BFF Liquid Liner is this right here for my wings. And then the Uoma Salute to the Sun Drama Balm Extreme Volume Nourishing Mascara. So use that. Now, to line the lips, ColourPop's Art Libby Pencil in Rudolph. I think this is the shade that I used last time. Probably not. I just need a line to kind of find it. My lips are not symmetrical, just so you know, and it is one of those things that like kills me. All right, so this is the Urban Decay Raw Footage Liquid Lip Color. So definitely make sure to shake it. There is like bearing or something in here to help like mix it. Once it dries down, it does not budge. Here goes nothing. Half 
have you tried this? This is one of my favorite shades in this color, liquid lip. My favorite color in this liquid lip. I can't talk today. I'll let this kind of dry down and I'll go and do another layer just to like make sure it's the right shade. You saw, this was similar. It wasn't identical, but just having that line there kind of helped build up my lips when I put it on. This is absolutely one of my favorite red shades. And it doesn't even matter if it's on the inside of my mouth because it's not even coming off. It kind of came off because I just did that extra layer, which I probably didn't need to do. Okay, you guys, this is the final look for going out tonight with Luke for his birthday. And I really like how it turned out. I like the brown smoky eye. I love the Marc Jacobs sequins. I really wish they still put them out because I would love to get more shades, but when I do like a fun, festive, like smoky glam, this is one of my favorites. I want to say I did this for like New Year's a couple years ago and I really enjoyed it. The red lip, just halfway through the video, I was like, yes, we need a red lip tonight. I think it pulled it all together. Let me know your thoughts. Do you like the red lip? Would you rather a neutral? I'm interested to know. Would you wear this out or do you like something a little more neutral? But you guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell for notifications to new videos. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Until my next video, you guys. Bye. I'll see you in the next one.